Our video today will discuss how to calculate the drawer box width for the series of drawer slides that will handle drawer side material maximum of three quarters of an inch thick. I want to put you on alert that there are two videos in our video library that address tandem drawer box width. This video is focusing on the tandems that are designed for drawer side material up to three quarters of an inch thick. The uh, portion highlighted blue in this drawing represent the bottom of the cabinet and the two side panels. I guess I didn't put a top on it. The portion highlighted in yellow here represents the uh, sides of the drawer box that you are going to build. The green bar at the uh, bottom of the drawer uh, well, that represents the bottom of the drawer. It can be a quarter of an inch thick, uh, three-eighths or half-inch, whatever you want the thickness of the drawer bottom to be. The bar expanding at the top of the page uh, is showing us the interior width of the uh, uh, cabinets that we have. If we subtract 49 millimeters from the cabinet opening width, that will tell us what the uh, drawer box that we're going to build, what the inside of that drawer box width will be. If we subtract 49 millimeters from the cabinet opening width, it equals the interior drawer box width. Now if you want to know what the outside drawer box width is, you simply add the thickness of your drawer side panels, which are a maximum of three quarters of an inch thick, uh, you will have your drawer box width. Now let's briefly take a look at the back of the drawer box for some details. Um, you'll see that there's two notches in the back of the box. Uh, they need to be 35 millimeters wide um, to accommodate the drawer runners. Uh, but uh, that's the minimum. You can take that whole bottom section out if you like. Also, the clearance under the box needs to be one half of an inch. And you need to drill the holes to accommodate the hook that's in the drawer runner. I recommend uh, buying the jig shown here uh, for prepping the holes in the back of the drawer box and for the uh, front locking devices on the drawer box that you're building. Well, that ends this video. I hope it's been helpful to you.